Zina was a real little troubled girl when she arrived here at the sanctuary and we could see why because she was shaved almost completely and because of that I mean one could only expect that she was abused where she was kept wherever in the United Emirates that was um, she didn't want any of the humans to have contact with her we couldn't pick her up sometimes she'd just get close enough that you could touch her maybe just start a little bit of a grooming with her but she really did not trust humans Zin my favorite Zina story is pretty much the day that she escaped and I was able to get her to come down from the tree and come up to me so I could take her back inside the enclosure. That was a really special moment, especially because um, never before has anyone been able to get her to come up to one of the humans so that someone can pick her up. Well, what does it feel like every time Zena jumps and kicks me in the face? Well, Zena really does have the technique down to where it has to be. I mean, she's really good at getting the high perch and then jumping down using her full body weight, the 12 kgs, and then kicking me in the face. Um, she, she uses her full weight to, to give me that punch. And it really, really does feel like an adult person, you know, boxer, giving you a good smack in the face. I think when it comes to what did I learn from Xena is the fact that I need to grow a pair of eyes behind my head. Because when I'm swinging in the trees with the chimps trying to work with them and teach them things, I always have to be aware of the other chimps in the trees as well that are behind me. And so I've always, I've learned to try and I keep a 360 angle on where every single chimp is around me, what are they doing, are they a threat to me, and uh, try to try and get along with them. My relationship since the whole event of Zina escaping has just blossomed. I mean, it's, it's, we're doing really well. For six months after, at least six months after that whole event, um, she, when I see every time I went inside the enclosure, she would still come up to me and sit with me and I could groom her, she would groom me, she'd be very playful. And so I think that was a very defining moment in, in, the, in the relationship between me and her. What can we expect from Zena in the future? I think that, you know, Zena will calm down even more than she has up to now.